My name is Dean, you're watching Travel Vids, and today we are talking food videos because making smartphone videos is easy. I must admit, for non foodie people, Weird Travel Vids have covered a lot of food videos. You don't have to be into making food videos to be making food videos. Let me explain this in the story. Food video stories. I mean, come on, where do you even start? Before I can give you a breakdown of a food video story, we're going to have to first take a few steps back and decide what type of video are we even filming. You could be making recipe videos, which are those like chop, 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 chop. This is how you make food in 30 seconds. Or you could be doing a slower cooking show style video explaining exactly what you're doing step by step. Perhaps you may be more into eating food yourself. So you could be doing reviews of restaurants. You're going to make one long film about the culture of food in Vietnam or shorter series about the best burgers in Cape Town. Where I'm going with this is that there are so many different types of stories that you can tell with food. You have to first decide Am I going to be making a single longer video like a vlog or am I going to be making a shorter series of videos? Perhaps food is just the conduit to your story, connecting in another interest. There's a Jerry Seinfeld show that's just come out recently which is called Riding in Cars with Comedians to Get Coffee. Seriously, it's a real show. It actually exists. In this case, he's using food and coffee just as a method to have an interview with somebody. All of these are videos that you can actually do with your smartphone. But I need to stop now because I can't tell you what type of video you need to make. You need to make that decision on your own. The only thing that I can tell you is that you need to think about giving your food video some more substance. So ask yourself the questions. Is it about where we are? who we with, how we got there. It's going to be obvious that you're going to film the food. And we'll get to some more details about that in the technical aspect just now. But give it some subcontext, elaborate, build a story around the food. That is how you're going to make a really cool foodie video. Make a decision, make a choice. There's three major topics that I want to talk about when it comes to the technical aspect of the, the food video. The one is extra lighting. To make food look good is actually quite difficult. Photographers are actually really skilled at doing this and there's a whole science behind it. But with your phone, what you gotta do is get close because close-ups are gonna be your friend here. If you don't have enough light naturally, it's always good to keep an LED light in your bag, in your pocket, um, or if you don't have anything at all, Put the camera flash on. I know it's not the best thing in the world, but you need to have a lot of light to make food not look. Ugh. The other thing you're going to need is a stand because you're going to be wanting to film yourself, not just from arm length distance, but also be able to go put the camera down somewhere else and film yourself in your environment of where you are uh, engaging with either making food or consuming food. You have to change up that angle as often as possible. So get yourself that tripod to put your phone down further away from you. And the third technical aspect that I would suggest is that you have a really good mic with you. Food videos are very much about the story as we've established and they is going to be talking to camera. Now, whether it's you or somebody else doesn't really matter, but you're going to want to get the sound right. And for that, your phone might not be good enough, especially in noisier areas like in restaurants or markets. So make sure that you have an extra either lapel mic or a uh, shotgun point mic, which you can plug into your phone. When it comes to the technique of this, you're going to want to use a lot of detail shots. Get up close, get personal. I mean like really up close and personal. Get the details of everything and not just the food. I'm talking about everything. Why do you think those tasty videos are so popular? It's that close up intimate. Let's get close ups. So the close ups give you that intimate feel. 
but don't be too rushed with everything. So also make sure that you get shots that are very smooth and very slow. Food is an elegant thing and you might want to consider getting a little bit of movement into your shots. Even filming it in slow-mo helps to give it that little extra edge of like ah. And here's a general technique when it comes to filming food. Don't get people eating. I've done it often and I'm not saying don't do it. Some people want to do it. We've done it. We've done it in vlog capacity, but if you're doing a little bit more of a stylish video, you know, watching people eat is just a no-no. It's just, uh, it's a technical frown upon. If you want to go against the grain, then use it, do it, watch people eat. This looks like, mm, so hot. <laughs> I don't know what this creamy bit is, but it's flipping good. Plan and practice. The only thing that you're really going to need to practice are those close-ups of getting food looking good. Now, not, we're not all food stylists and sometimes we're not always doing gourmet food. So even if it's fish and chips or a basic salad or a burger, just try and when you're framing it up, practice that sort of food styling element. And you're going to get it wrong in the beginning, but just keep trying and trying and trying and practice and you will get better at recognizing how to style your own food to make it look better. A word of advice when it comes to planning, also let the restaurant or the people you're going to go visit know that you're coming. It just gives them a little bit of a heads up and also it makes them feel more relaxed about letting you say into the kitchen for example. Um, if you just rock up and make a video, sometimes people get a bit frightened off by that. So just like sort of say, hey guys, we're coming through, I'd like to do a video to review your restaurant or do a vlog of my experience there. Communication is your best tool. So this is me communicating to you that all this talk about food has made me very hungry. So I'm going to go make myself something in the kitchen. I am out of here. I just want to leave you with one thought. Remember that making videos with your smartphone is easy. Fantastic. It's not so much the pancake actually, it was that creamy bit. Whatever it was with bits in it. I'm a really good foodie person. Eh? <laughs>